today I am wearing my new Loch Ness FC t-shirt. Thank Look at that. Oh my god! Wow! Kinesi. Loch Ness Mother. Uh, really cool shirt. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. <laughs> Fat chance. So this is quite a cool story actually about this shirt. So apparently Loch Ness FC were going under because of the coronavirus stuff and they've not had any sponsorship deals in a while. But what they did is they got in partnership with Historic Football Shirt Company and um, they produced loads of these really cool shirts. So just picking one up. They're pretty nice actually. They're pretty nice and snug. So anyway, and it saved the football club. So completely nothing to do with what we're going to be doing here. Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. So today, what we're gonna be looking at is we're gonna be looking at a new-ish concept around squad building. Especially while right now we have a lot of players which don't seem to have the ratings we would hope. And so we'd be looking to upgrade our squads quite quickly, especially given there's a lot of cards with lower pace this year, like Sancho and things like that. It's something that I think is a good idea to share with you guys and something that I think is a good idea for you to start thinking about for your starter teams. Um, what the hell is this? This concept is a progression build. What I mean about progression build is that it's a build where you can slowly build the team but also keep the rest of your starter team intact while you upgrade it. As you can imagine it involves a lot of perfect links so you can change one or two players and not have to change the rest but it also involves using certain formations that you can then rotate without changing too much around the rest of the team. This is one that I built earlier and it's something that I just want to show you guys how it would work. So. With this, as you can see here, the right hand side, incredibly expensive. Um, Koulibaly, Mertens, Gomez, probably gonna be quite expensive players. But then on the left hand side, you've got Fernandez and Casco. Um, Casco is someone that I'd really encourage you guys to look at for your star teams. Fernandez last season was actually a really good player. What this would be doing is you'd build this left hand side with your early currency. That would cost you, what, 5k if that. Then you'd build this piece here, so you'd build these guys and, and, and put these together in your team at the same time. And then you could start working on this right hand side. The reason being, when you're starting off, you don't really know how many coins you're going to be getting. You know, you're going to get a little bit from trading, you're going to get a little bit from squad building challenges from this one at the other but in reality chemistry is so important especially with chemistry styles that you don't want to be interrupting the rest of your team while you're building it and you don't especially want to keep selling players buying players selling players buying players which you know you're going to be losing money on so like these these cards where for example the first weekend league you might want to buy a whole new team because you're like well this team doesn't feel great for me so i'm going to start building a new team but there might be one or two players that you want to keep and there might actually only be one or two players that you want to use so what i'd suggest is starting off at least with a progression build squad so like i said you build these two you build these three um potentially these four if you had the money for galaski i'd just put him in there because he's the same club but you could have any german goalkeeper in there from the bundesliga and then you can build this right inside and then other examples of this sort of like perfect link use and some more expensive versions if you're deciding to upgrade from this even further so if you want to upgrade this left hand side for example you've got Werner and Kai Havertz, Richarlison and Allen, Pogba, Martial, Schultz and Hummels but you, you might find a better left back centre back partnership for example Varane and Mendy. As you can see pretty much all of these are based off of a perfect link side to Stegen and so you could upgrade any, any part of this team and nine times out of ten it would work just fine. Other good cheap examples of this are quite a few in the Chinese league with the Brazilian links in there. You've obviously got the French links in the Liga, the Italian links in the, in the Serie A. All those kinds of different links that you can use to either build a, a perfect link or a strong link and just make sure there's only one link coming off them. So another formation that's great for this is the 4-5-1 which is something that a lot of people used last FIFA to start their teams out. Because obviously then you've got just the one link between your left back on your left mid one strong link not even a perfect link and they're done they're, they're isolated off you don't need to worry about putting any more links in there so this is another great one for progression build another one is the 442 so 442 is great because it's almost like it, it it sections each side off quite easily so you've only got this one weak link between each side so you can build your left hand side and your right hand side you can start building that with more expensive players as you go through and then start sort of upgrading those as you go along it will just make sure you're minimizing the amount of tax you're paying on your players so you're not just having to keep rebuilding squads over and over again whilst also making sure that you're playing with cards that you actually want to play with and you're not just building teams around one or two cards which in, in reality you're just you're sacrificing else 
elsewhere for the rest of you, for the sake of the rest of your team. There's not really much more to say about it other than that, to be honest. It's just an idea of if you want to start using some of the, the, the links that you're starting to see come through. Obviously, the closer we get to FIFA, the more links there are. If you have money early on for an icon, some people might do, um, then you can start introducing those. So one thing that I'm looking for is going to be using Chavi at the start of this FIFA. And what I am going to do as well is I'm going to be doing a, a, a defensive and cheap players series where I review defenders or cheap players. Chavi will probably be one of the cheaper icons, maybe not at the start, but towards towards the sort of midsection that he'll probably be quite cheap just purely because he's not a meta card per se, but he's going to be central to my Chavi to Glory series. So yeah, just a quick idea for you guys. If you like what you've seen here in terms of the idea, if you like what you see in terms of the channel, please do drop a, a like, a share and a subscription. Um, any one of those is super helpful for me. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later. See ya.